This man used to live here. They're among Afghanistan's more than 3.5 million drug addicts. Now the bridge has been cleared. This particular part of the bridge used to be packed with addicts. They're often huddled together, high and shooting up. It was a frightening sight for those trying to get past. This is where they're bringing them, to a former US military base in the capital. Now a makeshift rudimentary rehabilitation center, where conditions are squalid. 28-year-old Muhammad Omar was a former flight attendant. One night I was in Tajikistan, one night I was in Iran, in Delhi, in Dubai, in Turkish. In the confusion following the Taliban takeover, he lost his job. I always I'm uh, thinking lots because I lost all of my things all my life it was lots of pressure in my head when the Taliban ran the country in the 1990s they all but stamped out poppy cultivation they returned to the drug trade to fund their 20-year insurgency and now they're destroying crops again. There is a ban on using, growing and trading of drugs. Afghanistan will be drug free soon. Uh, but I, I was uh, in Helmand and they were still cultivating there. I can't comment on this because I haven't seen it, but there are orders of complete prohibition. These men will be kept in this facility for six weeks. Resources are limited. More than 3,000 addicts have been crammed in a space with 1,000 beds. This is a country where drugs have been readily available and cheap. The UN says since the Taliban swept to power in 2021, drug cultivation has increased. The likelihood that these addicts will relapse when they're out again is high. As the Taliban learn how to transition from insurgency to governing a country, it's challenges like this that they have to grapple with.